Prime Minister, as you, as you know, um, set out a plan of sorts to ease restrictions, maybe, in four weeks' time. How do you hope that applies to small business? Look, it's really important that small businesses are allowed to open as soon as possible and as soon as is safe. But, you know, the worst thing that could happen is for a small business to be able to reopen, you know, restock, get, you know, get all operating and then have to close again. Mm. I mean, that would be devastating. So they don't, certainly don't want that to happen. But, you know, just recent figures out of the US um, Harvard Business Review suggested that if in the US the lockdown stayed for four months, 52% of small businesses would never open again. Now, I fully accept the US is not Australia and support packages are different there to Australia. But there is a lot of small businesses that the longer this goes, even with JobKeeper, um, a range of other support uh, packages, they will struggle to reopen ever. And that's the problem here. Well, what, is it, what are your estimates on that then? Look, it's really hard to say um, um, because it's really in the, it, it's really up to small businesses. But, you know, small businesses on average have about a month's worth of, of cash um, to pay their expenses if they don't have any um, incoming, any revenue. So they don't have much cash. Now, yes, they're getting some from, from government, but those that are, that, that are attempting to continue on um, are running out of cash. It's that simple. So, uh, so you know, there, there's real challenges here for those small businesses. So what, what is the middle ground then, Kate? I mean, I mean, everyone acknowledges, everyone knows that you can't go too early because then all of this is for nothing and no one wants that. So, so what is the middle ground? Because at some point, business is going to have to reopen um, because, as, as a lot of people say, you know, the, the depression post-coronavirus uh, post could be much worse than the actual virus itself. Look, that's absolutely true. You know, if, if a big percentage of Australian small businesses didn't reopen, then the sort of way of life we had prior to corona um, with you know, cafes and bars and um, shops and service operations, you know, all of the, the businesses that um, gave us the quality of life that uh, we enjoyed won't be there. And that's the problem here. So it's a really big challenge for the Prime Minister and the National Cabinet to get that balance right. But I think the approach of starting to reopen and doing that uh, um, in, in tranches, shall we say, and it's certainly true that those businesses that have large amounts of people where social distancing is difficult will be right down at the end of the, you know, yeah. a, a right down at the end of the queue. But um, starting to reopen businesses that are of, of low risk as soon as possible is really important. And I think the point that the Prime Minister made of us having uh, more testing, um, capacity to, uh, to trace people when there's an issue, um, and making sure that we can, you know, we've got the health services in place is a really good approach. But now small businesses, and I suppose business generally, because it's not just small businesses, are looking for a bit of a plan on, on what a reopen will look like. Now, I fully accept that that um, is something that's got to be done almost on a day-by-day -day basis. But we know that they will be looking at starting to reopen, if possible, in about four weeks. And we'd be hoping that there'd be a bit of a plan for what that reopen might look like so on the basis Kate? that the... Which businesses should be the, the well, first of you? Look, obviously, office-based businesses where you can, um, you, you, you can have social distancing reasonably easily, businesses that don't have lots of staff, uh, they cafes? can reopen quite quickly. Some of the services... Sorry, what, cafes? what is that? Cafes, uh, restaurants... Um, well, the, the challenge for cafes and restaurants will be being able to show that they can social distance because that's not going to go away in the foreseeable future, not probably until we have a vaccine or a, or a sure. treatment. So we're going to have to continue to change the way we operate. But that's not impossible, you know. It's, it, you know, we can do that. And what we've got to do is start planning for what social distancing in cafes and, and restaurants will look like. Some of the, you know, some of our bars and nightclubs may may have a real challenge in that space. Yeah. But uh, you know, one thing about small businesses and businesses generally is they're pretty innovative, 
and looking at how we can plan this. Remember, the last thing we want is we want a scenario where many of these businesses just go to the wall. Mm. Um, they don't have staff, you know, their staff lose their jobs and it'll be a long haul to get those jobs back. So we've got to get that balance right, getting businesses up and running as soon as possible. But uh, certainly they don't want to open and then close again. That's absolutely true. And getting plans for what social distancing will look like in small businesses um, as we plan for a reopen. And again, what we don't want here is a very large percentage of small businesses in Australia to never reopen. Yep, you're that right. will be that will take a very long time for you're our right. economy to get over.